Welcome to Kemmer, Southern Turkey. This exotic seaside destination attracts many visitors because of its beauty and relaxed atmosphere. But now, it is becoming known for something completely different. Extreme Enduro has found a new location, and it's called the Red Bull Sea to Sky. The world's top ranked riders are here to try this unique event that combines beach racing with forest and high elevation climbs over 2300 meters. It's, it's an incredible concept for the race. We start on the beach and finish in the mountains. It's nowhere else in the world where we can do this. The terrain's perfect for a hard enduro and it's just a nice place to come to. With the usual cast of favorites like Chris Birch, Graham Jarvis and Andreas Lettenbickler all vying for the podium. 20-year-old Johnny Walker from Great Britain is looking to crash the party. He placed third at Erzberg this year as a rookie. I don't know, I expect to win it, but you got to try to win it. It's the only way you're going to do any good, but I don't know, top three will be good. The race begins with two rounds of qualifying. The first takes place on the beach of Kemmer, with thousands of spectators watching the action. 100 riders stand in a single row, and when the flag drops, it's a mad dash to their motorcycles. The beach race lasts for 15 minutes, roughly 9 to 10 laps, through sand, jumps, and a nice long straightaway. The fastest times qualify the riders for the next stage of the event. With a bad start, Johnny Walker quickly works his way to the lead. This is quite a surprise given he comes from a trials background where speed is not as important. The rest of the pack gives chase, but in the end, the Brit is on his game today and takes the qualifying win. Yeah, the race went quite good. I pushed hard through that first lap to get past people and then uh, I got into the lead just start of the, well, the end of the first lap sorry, and then just led from there really. Now it's time for the forest time trial. The competitors race from the base of Kemmer, 44 kilometers in a giant loop back to the city. The purpose of the time trial is to seed your position for tomorrow's main event. Chasing Johnny Walker is his countryman, the silent assassin Graham Jarvis, who is currently ranked number one in the world. Chris Birch of New Zealand is right behind and gaining, while Germany's Andreas Lettenbickler rides a smooth pace in chase of the leaders. section called House of Pain, the race starts to change completely. This is where the riders get a small taste of what's to come, with massive rocks and huge hill climbs. These obstacles, combined with the heat, begin to suck the life out of all of the riders. Female competitor Lisa Nordland of Norway battles her 450 up the hill but unfortunately, the House of Pain gets the best of her. I caught up to Johnny's dust after about 20 minutes and then, then caught up to him properly and he just dicked it over a, uh, dipped the front wheel over a ledge and I got past and haven't seen him since. Day one of the Red Bull Sea to Sky is officially over. Time to get some rest because tomorrow's main event, called the Olympus Mountain Race, promises to reward the strong and punish the weak. <laughs>